Hey, what's going on you guys? My name is Jace and welcome back to my channel. Today we are playing Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I've actually yet to play this version of the game. The only reason it says resume is because I did a little bit of a test uh, to see if I liked how the graphics look, but I still wasn't sure. Regardless, we are starting a new career. I am a big fan of this franchise and as soon as I saw there was a Legendary Perfect Edition of this game coming out, I was like, yes, I have to play. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. I'm so hyped, man. Secure this is one of, if not, like, this is one of my favorite video game franchises of all time. So, I was debating in my head if I should go with just generic. I'm playing as Male Shepherd as we play. I was debating in my head if I should go with just basic John Shepherd or enter a new ID. I think I'm going custom. We're going all, the, all in. in all right, well, here, I gotta reach a little bit. I'm gonna name him Jace Shepard. There we go. I'm thinking about how I'm gonna play through this game, I think. So, for fans of this game, uh, if you're... There's a lot of dialogue options, how you play the game and all this stuff. I think I'm going to play this game as a paragon. If you know what that means, you know what that means. And then eventually I'm planning on getting back into streaming. I think I'm gonna stream a Renegade playthrough, but for my YouTube, I'm playing as a Paragon. So let's see, Let, let's see how we're gonna do this. Uh, Spacer, colonist Earthborn. Spacer, both of your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting. You never stayed in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age <clears throat> at eight, of 18. You were born and raised on Mindwar, a small border colony in the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Mindwar, slaughtering your family and friends. You were saved by, pa by a passing alliance patrol, and you enlisted in the military a few years later. You were an orphan raised on the streets of the great metropolises covering Earth. You escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the alliance military when you turned 18. So I'm not going with Spacer. Spacer just seems too bland. I mean, it's cool... That Whereas these other ones have some interesting stuff to them, like orphan struggles, colonist. You have, um, I think I'm gonna go with Earth. Mm -hmm. And you and Great Metropolis of Earth, you escape life of petty crime on underworld kings and enlisted in line. Colonist is the one that, like, your family and friends are dead. Like, that's a really deep. Ooh, this is rough. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna go with Earthborn for this. Confirm psychological well, profile. hold up. Confirm Never mind. Pre-service history. Because I'm trying to decide in my head for like future playthrough, I'm gonna do different stuff. I'm trying to think of what's more Paragon. Oh well, yeah, Earthborn's Confirm fine. Psychological profile. All right, Soul Survivor. Okay, during your service, a mission. You were on went horribly wrong, trapped in an extreme survival situation. You had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around all those around you fell, and you now and now you are alone, left to tell the tale. In your early military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risked your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy, despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition Alliance fleet. Throughout your career, career, you have held to one basic rule, get the job done. You have been called cold, calculating, and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency. So, where are you, buddy? Okay. This, uh, that sounds very, um, mm, let's see. Kind of like war hero, just trying to be a hero. Um, now, see, it's interesting. Because I've played this game many a time. And I almost always play as a Vanguard. I feel like I'm going to play as a Van Vanguard again. The only thing is I think they updated this because I have seen a little bit of gameplay. I've yet to play this game. One of the big problems with the Vanguard in the original Mass Effect is like you literally could not use like sniper rifles and... Um, so like basically they they're good with shotguns and I believe pistols yeah pistols, and the issue with that is basically means you could not use sniper rifles or assault rifles you literally just could like you could use them but you can aim with them and that was horrible, because so, it just took away so much I mean I understand not being as good with them but literally just taking away the ability to use them limited the game in a lot of ways, 
Whereas I think they changed that in this, which is fine. So I think I'm gonna... I've always wanted to try like Infiltrator. But I'm gonna go with Vanguard for this Confirm playthrough. Facial identification. Yeah, we changed in our appearance. We're gonna, let's look through some of these presets. I'm trying to find one. He's got a skinnier face like me. Cause I've got a relatively skinny looking face. Cause I'm not gonna go change too much. I like to do a little bit of customization just to make him look closer. Cause I like him to look semi like me when I play this. See like, I might make his skin slightly darker. No, hold on, let's see. Come on, I'm looking for one. There's gotta be one. I mean, this is probably fine. I just don't like, I'm not gonna give myself scars. I'm gonna make the complexion different. Let's go like, yeah, just one little thing. I may change some of his eyes. Because yeah, there's a little bit of an... Because I don't like those eyes and that's what his eyes had. Those are really small. But I kind of like those the most. Here, well, let's go, let's mess with his hair first. Let me see the options. Because I'm going no beard, I think. I've got blonde hair, so let's see. Blonde, blonde. Is there no real blonde option? Hold on. What well, here? Let's see. Because there, there used to be like a straight up blonde option. That's kind of annoying. So like the options feel more like light brown than they really feel like blonde. I mean, I know I've got like, this is the closest one. I don't know what hair, cause I usually would go with something like that. Not exactly that, I don't remember, but. But I don't really have, yeah, this is what I think I used to go with most of the time, but the, I don't really have hair like that anymore. How do I, I want you to be back in the middle. Look in the, okay, whatever. But I don't really have hair like that anymore. I mean, I've got a freaking bun on top of my head now. Um, oh, I want you to match. Actually, you can be a little darker. Not that dark. That's fine. That's fine. And if anything I do I don't like, I may go back and re-go through after this video is done. Because that, I'm only going to go through an early part of the game in this video. Yeah, no, no facial hair. Facial structure. That's too gone. That's where it was. Yeah, I think I'm just going back where it was. Jeez, that's really dark and really pale. Because <laughs> I never... Like I said, I usually play this game and I try and make them look close to me. I don't know if I like that hair, though, now. That's horrible. Eh. Definitely not going with, like, a mohawk or nothing. Definitely not going with dreads. No, no. Let me, let me just cycle through them all. That's really me. I think that's just like a shorter version of what I already had, right? Or is that what I already had? See, in a weird way, I kind of like this like longer hair because that is closer to what I actually have, but I feel like it doesn't match him very well. And I'm gonna turn off, I don't want any scars. Okay. 
See, this hair looks most like what when my hair is short looks like. I feel like. Because I, I used to do the spiky hair when I was younger, but when I got older, and if I have short hair, that's basically what I go with. I just have more of a part right here, but like... Eh, let's go with it. And same thing. If I don't like it, I'll change it after this video and just make all the same decisions. All right, let me see about my nose, because I've got a big nose. It was said at this before. <laughs> Why do I feel like it can't it was lower before? Hmm. Despite the fact that that's as low as it can go, why am I am I dumb that I think that it was even lower before? What's that? Let's just go like one. Because I have a big nose, so I'm going to go like one more. There we go. I think that's fine. I don't like my eyes. Uh, I just don't like them. Mmm, I don't like them. Like, those feel like the best options. Ugh. Ooh, should I go something interesting like red eyes? No, I, I mean, I have blue eyes. Those are kind of green looking, right? I can't tell. Those are blue, right? Sorry, I have to look. I'm, I'm, this is very important. There's nothing worse than starting a game and being like, crap, I fucked up something in character creator and now they look like shit. I kind of like these. Seem relatively normal I feel like I like most of what I've got going on here let me my hair color I just wish there was yeah like a lighter that okay that's better I like that and let me see if I can go oh no that goes too light I think that's good no scars hair okay I think I'm happy with this I think I'm happy because I don't like to make too many changes to... Like, I want to make changes to the presets a little bit, but if you make too many changes and you just do an entire character creator, they end up looking busted. So, let's go with this. Profile reconstruction complete. The only thing that I'm not sure about is his eyes, because they are very small. Confirm facial identification. Like... Is there... It just... Like, no... But those look like derpy on him. <laughs> I mean, I feel like these are my best options, so I'm going with them. Profile Again, worst case is, comes to worst, I end up like changing it after this. I, the one thing I missed. Okay, let's see about this. Powers. I am very bad at keeping up with like telling my squad to use their powers, so I'm gonna leave that on. Level scaling, I'm actually interested by this because I don't really know what this means. Like in classic mode, there's one through 60. In legendary, it's only one through 30. It says XP and talent points progression remain the same, but the number of levels is doubled. So basically it just means you can be get become more powerful. So it's harder. Cause I'm confused by this. Cause I, is it just like talent point progression remains the same? Does that mean like I still only get like one talent point for every level or whatever it is? I don't know. See. I'm gonna do legendary mode just to give it a shot because it is like auto level up off combat difficulty. We're gonna go veteran. So a little bit harder, but I'm not an expert on this game. 
I'm gonna leave tutorials on just in case there's something I'm like, oh, I, I, I forgot that's a thing. It's been a little bit since I played these games. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for himself. Yeah. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. Let's go. In, tw in the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered remains of an ancient space bearing civilization in the decades of all. These mysterious artifacts revealing their new technologies enabled traveling further to stars. The basis of the incredible target of force called very effects. They called it the greatest discovery in human history. Civilization of the galaxy. Call it. Uh, I tried to read it all because I remembered that goes by fast. But apparently it doesn't go by that fast. I didn't need to read it that fast. <laughs> Mass Effect. Ah, uh, this is, like I said, this game in particular is on the, like, it, Mass Effect 2 is my, one of my top games of all time. Mass Effect 1, range. I really Machine like, and I'm sequence. interested to see the gameplay differences. But I wouldn't rank it, it it's still up there though, as a great game. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Vector. There's our boy. Station secure for transit. Uh, it's, like I said, I love these games. I just love like really story-based games. I love there's like the dialogue trees are great. Like, I just need more of these kind of games out there. The you know what? His eyes don't bother me that much now that I'm seeing him. Like on him. So I, I kinda like the way my guy looks. I like the hair. Because it's closer to, like I said, when my hair's short, that's what it looks like. I like it. I like it. And the game's graphics look amazing. Hitting the relay in three, two, one. Ah, uh, it feels good to be playing this game again. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift. Just under 1,500k. 1,500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. Wow, they look different. Remember to zip up your jumpsuit the on the lighting. The bathroom? That's lighting good. effects I make a big difference. I just halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Ooh, okay. I they agree. They send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker. Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything I've been watching a friend play these games Find recently the on uh, Twitch. And he, he was playing as Fem Shep, so I'm excited. Like, I hear my boy Shep again. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. <laughs> love Joker. Why. Don't love Caden. <laughs> Whoop. The captain's waiting for you in the comm room, Commander. All right. Actually, wait. Is that? I thought that was someone else in that seat, so I was like, wait, what? What do you have to say? You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. Ah, I love this game. Oh, that's a little different. The run is a little bit different. I'm just the captain in charge here. He won't take orders from a specter. Not his toy shot. Specters don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Ah, you 
Oh, okay. What were you, what were you gonna say, Mr. Presley? Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. Hmm. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? All we're supposed to do this game looks so much the better in the legendary edition in charge and then there's Nihilus. specters are elite operatives top covert agents why send a specter a turian specter on a shakedown run it doesn't add up what do you know about the stealth systems i just know it masks our location from scans and sensors cutting edge technology the normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. Hmm. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. <laughs> you don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. Everyone's recognizing something's off with you what we're doing. Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was a long time ago. That was ago. 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. Well, yeah, I mean, vessel, this is an interesting there, topic in these the games, because it's like... Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. Yeah. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. Anything else now? I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. All right. There is some interesting topics in these games that I love delving into. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action. Ah, uh, Doctor Chalk was. I love you. Crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. You'll do just fine. Just like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. Don't. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not going to screw this up. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Dude, you're what just you such you're fangirling over Only Nihilus. What I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the council races. Like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. Mm -hmm. You're a war hero, right? Held off an entire enemy fleet during the Blitz single-handed? That's the kind of talent the Spectres are looking for. This is all just wild speculation. The Spectres aren't interested in recruiting humans, no matter how mm -hmm. capable. How do you control agents with unlimited power? I suppose the Council could revoke the Spectre status of an agent who got out of hand. At that point, Citadel Security Services would take over. Those C-Sec grunts wouldn't stand a chance. 
Inspectors were 20 ordinary soldiers. Dude, Inspectors Jenkins, you're such a fangirl. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take him down. That's Spectre Justice. The Corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality, Commander. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. But there's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. The captain's waiting. Yeah, for Jenkins, me. you need to calm your you tits. <laughs> you need to calm down a little bit there, bro. All right, let me see. Anyone else I can talk to? No, no. Whoop, loading screen. No. Can I not? I don't know. Hey, bro. Huh. I like when you walk across, it still comes in like you're walking from behind him. It will give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people hasn't it proof that humanity can not only establish colonies so yeah we've got so we're going to this colony protect them but how safe is it really Ooh, that's questionable sir what's your point is that a threat what's your point if you've got something to say just say it your people are still newcomers shepherd the galaxy can be a very dangerous place is the alliance truly ready for this i think it's about time we told the commander what's really going this mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. Yeah, so it's funny. On certain so shots, I don't mind the eyes, but on, like, the close-ups, I'm like, ah... I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Mm. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in council space. Why did we tell the council? Hmm. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel so? Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy and to the Spectres. Okay, so maybe Nihilus isn't an asshole. It's rare to find an individual it seemed species. like he was threatening us earlier. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What do you know about the Protheans? 
just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody 50, really knows how why. I figured oh, it'd I be think. longer, to be honest. But everyone agrees. Galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world. But it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. I'd like uh, to know nope, more about nope, Eden nope. Prime before we touch down. Stop. It's a piece. It proved it symbolizes. Humanity's growth and evolution as a space. Yeah, 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 yeah. We heard you. This, heard you the first time. Heard you the first time. The world I... where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliant ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden Prime. Captain, we got a problem. Oh. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! We are under attack, taking heavy casualties! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! We need evac! They came out of nowhere! We need- Oh, he's dead. out after that no calm traffic at all it just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold the 38.5 the hell is that status report 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area take us in joker fast and quiet this mission just got a lot more complicated a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell yeah, shit just Jenkins got the suit up, Commander. You're going in. Shit just got more wild. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. I love Turian voices. Nihilus like the little, I can't even describe what you it is like. Status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. All right, let's we do are this. Drop point two. I love the Turian voice actors. Like they have this little, I guess, just like rumble underneath their voice that just sounds so cool. All right. This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Make sure. Yes, <laughs> That's just basically target practice for you. 
All right, let's get going. This is interesting. They changed a little bit about your running, I'm pretty sure. Like, you run a little bit faster. Hold left chip to switch weapons. Okay, yeah, I did set this for one of my things. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh... Shepherd wart. Throw. Okay. Okay. And let me check this. So, that's my shotgun. So, let's switch to this. And yeah, okay. See, in the original game, you literally could not do this with, like, all your other weapons if you were not. Which sucks, because then it just took away, like, you couldn't snipe. You literally couldn't snipe. You could still use an assault rifle, kind of. It was just really hard to aim with it. Let's just keep our regular pistol for now. Jenkins. Is there a way to switch shoulders? I'm trying to... Okay, this will be fine. I didn't mean to switch to that gun, but then I was, I was trying to figure out some of the controls I accidentally did. Okay. Okay, just remembering some of my controls. Catching you up. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> that wasted some meta gel. Oh, well. Okay. I'm just making sure I got my controls all down. Rip right to his shields. We're at a chance. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. So R.I.P. Jenkins, he's dead. That was very fast. Let me see. Uh, let me read some of the codex, because I, I usually don't do this, but I'm interested in seeing more of the story as I'm Roughly 1,200 years ago, the Turians were invited to join the Citadel Council to fulfill the role of galactic peacekeepers. The Turians have the largest fleet in Citadel space, and they make up the single largest portion of the Council's military forces. As their territory and influence has spread, the Turians have come to rely on the Salarians for military intelligence and the Asari for diplomacy. Despite a somewhat colonial attitude towards the rest of the galaxy, the ruling hierarchy understands they would lose more than they would gain if the other two races were ever removed. Turians come from an autocratic society that values discipline and possesses a strong sense of personal and collective honor. There is lingering animosity between Turians and humans over the First Contact War of 2157, which is known as the Relay 314 incident to the Turians. Officially, however, the two species are allies, and they enjoy civil, if cool, diplomatic relations. Okay, okay, so there was a war between us and the Turians uh, years ago, and so we have, like kind of a like hey we fought each other in a war so some of us don't like you but some of us are like kind of cool 50,000 years ago the protheans were the only spacefaring species in the galaxy they vanished in a swift galactic extinction only the legacy of their empire remains they are believed to have built the mass relays and the citadel which have allowed numerous species to explore and expand throughout the galaxy Prothean ruins are found on worlds across the galaxy. While surprisingly intact for their age, functioning examples of Prothean paleotechnology are rare. Time and generations of looters have picked their dead cities and derelict stations clean. Some believe the Protheans meddled in the evolution of younger races. The Hanar homeworld of Kaje, for example, shows clear evidence of former Prothean occupation. Hmm. The presence of a former Prothean observation post on Mars has caused a rebirth of interventionary evolutionists among humans. These individuals believe the god myths of ancient civilizations are misremembered encounters with aliens. Interesting. I mean, it's fair to think that. Considering when, like, I mean, there would definitely be humans being like, look, 
Look at all this crazy stuff that happened in the past. Maybe it was aliens. Spectres are agents from the Office of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance and answer only to the Citadel Council. They are elite military operatives, granted the authority to deal with threats to peace and stability in whatever way they deem necessary. They operate independently or in groups of two or three. Some are empathetic peacekeepers, resolving disputes through diplomacy. Others are cold-blooded assassins, ruthlessly dispatching problem individuals. All get the job done one way or another, often operating outside the bounds of galactic law. The Spectres were founded after the Salarians joined the Council. For many years, they operated in secrecy as backroom problem solvers. Only after the Krogan rebellions did their activities become publicized. Assignment of a Spectre is less contentious than a military deployment, but makes it clear that the Council is concerned about a situation. Interesting. So Spectres are basically galactic badasses they're like hey we need you to fix a problem we'll send you like we need a problem fix we send a specter humanity's first contact with an alien race occurred in 2157 at that time the alliance allowed survey fleets to activate any dormant mass relays discovered a practice considered dangerous and irresponsible by council aligned races when a Torian patrol discovered a human fleet attempting to activate a relay they attacked one human vessel survived, retreating to the colony of Shanxi. The Torians followed, quickly defeating the local forces. Shanxi was occupied, the first and to date only human world to be conquered by an alien species. The Torians believed the handful of ships they defeated represented the bulk of human defenses. So they were unprepared when the second fleet, under Admiral Castany Drescher, launched a strong counteroffensive, evicting them from Shanxi. Hmm. The Turians mobilized for full-scale war, drawing the attention of the rest of the galaxy. The Council quickly intervened, forcing a truce. Fortunately for humanity, the first contact war was ended with a diplomatic solution. I mean, considering, yeah, we would have been much behind on technology, we probably would have gotten wiped the fuck out. The Systems Alliance is an independent supranational government representing the interests of humanity as a whole. The Alliance is responsible for the governance and defense of all extrasolar colonies and stations. The Alliance grew out of the various national space programs as a matter of practicality. Sol's planets had been explored and exploited through piecemeal national efforts. The expense of colonizing entire new solar systems could not be met by any one country. With humans knowing that alien contact was inevitable, there was enough political will to jointly fund an international effort. Still, the Alliance was often disregarded by those on Earth until the first contact war. While the national government Space Force. bickered over who should lead the effort to liberate Shanxi, the Alliance fleet struck decisively. Post-war public approval gave the Alliance the credibility to establish its own parliament and become the galactic face of humanity. So, Space Force. <laughs> Genetic barriers, more commonly called shields, provide protection against most mass accelerator weapons. Whether on a starship or a soldier's suit of armor, the basic principle remains the same. Kinetic barriers are repulsive mass effect fields projected from tiny emitters. These shields safely deflect small objects traveling at rapid velocities. This affords protection from bullets and other dangerous projectiles, but still allows the user to sit down without knocking away their chair. The shielding hmm. afforded by kinetic barriers does not protect against extremes of temperature, toxins, or radiation. That's interesting. See, I've never thought about it. I was always like, yeah, there's shields. And I just, because I've never read these codexes, so that's interesting. It's like it protects against high moving objects, essentially. Do I have, okay. Uh, some of these secondary ones I probably won't read. Maybe, maybe over time I'll think about it. But I really, I'm going to read a lot of the primary ones. Yeah, yeah, I accidentally used Meta Joe already. I already did it. I don't want to use it. Here, a lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll 
trying to catch up with you in the dig site. Yeah. Eh. I may change one of my buttons, but let's see. Squad. So have we leveled up? All right. So I have not leveled up. No, but I do have points to spend. Okay, okay, okay. Well, since we're playing as this, I'm going to that. Let's do just one in my Vanguard. And let's just do one more in Charm, because I want to make sure I get that very quickly. And I like having the helmets. I personally enjoy it. Oh, let's see about Caden. All right, Caden. For now, let's just go one in Sentinel and get your barrier. All right, cool. Oh, and there's a photo mode now. I saw that. That's interesting. Let me see. Hold on. I do that. Ah, okay. Got it. Cool. Making sure I have the right buttons for telling him to do stuff. Come on, Caden. Oh, ooh, ooh. Um, no, you. Got it. Cool. Got to make sure I mark these. War. Oh, no. Didn't want to do that. Okay. Damage is all nearby enemies and objects. Make them more vulnerable to damage. Throw. Okay, throw. I'm going to be using a lot. You're one of my favorite abilities, and I'll set you to that. Oh, didn't mean to cast it. Oh, well. Oh, no. Her armor looked different in the video. Is that like a slight thing that they didn't really change that video um, that was sent to us? Cause I don't really. Re Fuck, dude. <laughs> oh, God, they look awesome. Help this girl out. Where are they at? Did I kill them both? Are you dead down here? Thanks for your help, Commander. I didn't think I was gonna make it. All right, gonna reach Ashley. Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns, nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh man, we were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to Dead. Beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. Don't blame this yourself. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the Beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Come with us. Use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. So the Geth. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Hmm. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some God, Male Shepherd's voice is so aggressive sometimes. Like, tell me everything you know. A few weeks know. ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the Beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the Beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Hmm. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. 
We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. Never knew they were coming. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. <laughs> Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. So she ain't seen Nihilus. Move out. So Ashley is the most controversial squad member. All right, yeah, let's make sure and give her points. I, I, okay. Actually, real quick, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be right back. I'm just gonna change one button on my controls. Okay, I'm back. I just needed to fix that. All right, let's see. Um, for her, I'm gonna have her, I'm gonna be ranking these up a little bit quicker than a lot of my other things, just because this is like basic. Like, okay, they get better basic skills, and I'm gonna give her that, because it actually gives her an ability. I think that's fair. And here, if you want to see your face, that's Ashley's face. If you want to see Caden's face? I think we, well, yeah, we already saw him. And then me. Yeah. All right. Let's get going. Ooh, what's in some crates? Upgrade kit. Okay. Okay, let's do this again. I, I, you know what? I just fixed it so I have this button on my controller, and I was still like, I gotta press it on my computer. Okay, uh, no, go back. Uh, it's under equipment. Yeah, 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 okay. Don't have anything special there. Armor. See, I just like, the thing is, even though this armor is clearly better, I just like the look of this. This is why in the future Mass Effect games, you basically, all your armor, um, you don't get to change, it's just like you can make cosmetic changes to the colors, because I just think this armor is so like iconic. So if I can find better versions of that armor, whereas for Caden, I don't care what you wear. And same with her, I kind of like this like pink armor that she wears, I just think it looks better on her. Caden, I don't really care what you wear. Sorry, bro. My most used gun is probably going to be my pistol. Mini munition also called squash projectiles. Okay. Deals extra weapons force. But, okay. I'm going to leave that on. And I didn't think I unlocked anything else, right? Nope. Okay. Let's go back. So now we got a little bit of extra damage, weapon force, whatever, onto my pistol. I'm so bad with grenades in video games. If you watch my Halo playthrough, you know that. I'm just horrible with them. I think I'm just better at third-person shooters in general than I am with uh, first-person. Oh, shit. Bitch. Didn't know you were there. All right. New weapons. I get Oh, I guess I... Okay, I guess I didn't really look at my weapons. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research Oh, my camera. back. Ugh. This is the one thing I have a horrible back. Oh, man. That feels good. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. All right. Now, let's check my equipment again, because I didn't change any weapons. 
Okay, pistol. It is... So, better damage, better heat. It's the same. Uh, but lower accuracy. You... Same, better damage, same heat sink, lower accuracy. I'm going to switch to that assault rifle. Let me see if I can change what you got. Yeah, okay. Change of plan, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. All right. Let's go. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. <laughs> That's rough, buddy. Oh god, they're still alive. Ugh. Um, hello? <laughs> There's more you guys are coming after us, I assume. Come on. You dead? Die already. I feel like I, I it's funny because I keep getting worried that I'm going to run out of ammo as if there was ammo in this game. Because that's why I keep like not just spam firing. Oh, yeah. What happens if I shoot? It doesn't do anything? Okay. Wasn't sure if it was one of those things. I don't know. I couldn't remember. It's been a while since I played if they like have any dialogue of, hey, stop that. What if I punch you? Like, come on, Caden. Take it. All right, let's get going. Crate. More weapons. Got some Omni Gel. Out of my way, guys. Let's check around over here. Is there anything else around? Smells like smoke and death. What do you have to say? We thought this world was safe until the guests showed up. All right. Some locked objects require decryption or electronics to access. If any squad members has that required talent, you will be able to unlock the object using decryption or electronic interface or by spending Omni Gel. All right. Advance to the central core. Move the mouse to move around the ring. Okay, I remember this. Left click and right click. Let's try it. All right. Sorry, it's been a while since I did those. I was like, oh crap, I have to remember exactly the controls. Humans, thank the maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Hello, sir. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you, I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. So Dude, only you're, you're tweaking a little bit. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers. Bringers of darkness. Heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle Dude's outside. tweaking. And I don't get me wrong, he is just like... I thought it would never end. This would then fuck you up if you've quiet. never been in your life, been in like seeing combat, there, and then just this happened to you. Until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him. The Prophet. Leader of the enemy. He was here. Before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry. Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Or there's another Turian here. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. 
miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil, awakened the beast, unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please, this isn't the time. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... Unstable. unstable? A little bit. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. A little bit unstable, and then have this happen. To see the destruction rushing towards us, to understand there is no escape, no hope. No, I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave Ugh. him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. I, I, I don't want to do this. I don't want to. There, well, I do, but I don't. I'm not gonna do this because I'm playing as a paragon, but I, I'm, di I really want to. Wait, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Whoa, that sound of that. Yeah, you get paragon points just for being like, yeah, I didn't want to, you know, knock the guy out, because that's essentially what you do. All right, let me see. Have I leveled up? Oh, I leveled up quite a bit. Okay, so yeah, that's my guess, is that you just get more points from each of your individual level ups versus leveling up slowly over time. That's my guess. Okay. Put one into there. Let's get you guys going. Um, I'm going to get my pistol up a little bit. Let's go ahead and do that. All right. Caden. All right. Let's get you. When do we... How do we... Un okay, we don't unlock lift for a while. Barrier... The same thing, not for a while. Let's get him one more into decryption. One more in Sentinel for sure. Let's give him first aid. Um, let's just give him one more to throw, because that's a damage dealing thing. Ashley, get you one more in your soldier. One more in your assault. Ooh, let's do that. And then we'll get one more in your pistols. Cool. Let's see what other weapons we got. Okay, so that's not much better. It's just more damage, but worse at both the other things. Yeah, definitely don't want that. Shotgun, which I haven't really used yet. Eee. Let's go ahead and take that shotgun. Hayden. Yeah, let's have you take that one. I like the gun, gun you're already using. That's all good. I think we're all good for now for all these. All right. Let, oh, I was already at the place to move on to a cutscene. Oh, there is another Turian here. Saren. Saren. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Oh no! And that's not good. Nihilus! We're on our way to save you! God! Da, 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 da. All right. First off, actually, though, throw marksman. Okay. Where are you at? I'm trying to get you. That is why I'm bad at games. Why am I doing no damage to you? I need my shotgun, probably. 
Not you. Not you. I went the total wrong way. Get down. Get down. Get crouch it. Get shit. Where you at? Ah, the shotgun, so strong in this game. If I remember right, there's something else. Yes. Okay. Let's go up here. Can I not? Ah, it's because there's still an enemy around. That's why. Where are you? Oh, get out of your shield, you little bitch. Right, now we can do this thing. All right. There we Everybody go. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship... I thought it was all over. It showed up hmm. right before that the voice attack. actress sounds familiar. Was trouble the second I saw it, so we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. Uh, sorry, I got the three of us Ugh. were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that we survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. That voice actress sounds so familiar. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. Yeah. Ooh. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. <laughs> you have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. What kind of packages? I found a pistol. Figured it would come the problem I have with being a paragon in Mass Effect <laughs> sometimes sometimes is you be too goody goody two shoes and like a, that example of why I didn't choose the number one option is like him saying smuggling's a crime. That's bad. It just feels too like come on. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but. You probably deserve it more than I do. What was it? They didn't even tell us. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. Uh, see, this is where I mean by goody goody two shoes. Why he might not? have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport if he's still alive. I have to go. Good luck. Yeah, yeah, two goody goody two shoes. Okay. Okay, a weapon upgrade, a combat sensor. Let's see what that does. Combat sensor. Some enemies use jamming technology to block your weapon radar. Combat scanner. Has... Okay. I mean, yeah, let's go and throw it on. Oh, this is a much better gun. Yeah. Okay, so I'm glad we got that. Because, yeah, that's better than all of our other guns. Or our other pistols, at least. And I probably will eventually change this armor, but just, I love the look of it. It's just so, it's, th this is the armor that Shepard wears, you know? Ah, uh, Nihilus. It's Nihilus. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The Wait a minute. Shot him. 
Didn't the guy just say the, at his spaceport Powell was his contact? So this is this guy? Am I confused? Yeah, so it's Powell. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. But Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I, I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? Okay, so this is the spaceport. It's open okay. on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up. Then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? Oh, God. They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. What, sir? Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I, I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks with a supervisor. <laughs> sir. <laughs> you survived because you're lazy? I mean, I guess yeah, lucky break. After that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Your call's contact here on the docks for the smuggling ring. What? No. I mean, what does it matter now? Yeah, I mean, what does it matter considering their homeworld just got the fucking attacked? Dead. The entire crew's dead. Doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch. We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Let him go. Hand them over. You're pathetic. Hand them over. Just give me the grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. A lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up to them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. I don't know what I just got, but thanks. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next. Those Geth were swarming over the platform, thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. Hmm. And it was making this noise, this... This sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Yeah, this guy is uh the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Yeah, they, that's a rough day, man. High explosive grenade. What was the other thing I got? What was the other thing? It didn't say. Is it just a special grenade that I got? Oh, I'm using a sniper rifle. All right. Get out of my way, bro. Can I? Uh, uh, uh. Is there anything? Okay, I didn't know. I was seeing if there was anything back here that I could like get weapons or upgrades from.
But yeah, so okay. Let's have you. Okay, get. No, I didn't want to switch. I thought I had the shotgun equipped. I did not. Nice. Okay, why would you shoot the containment shell when this guy's coming to us? I meant to hit you, but that works. Okay, we got guys far down here. Didn't hit. Come on. Uh, you, fuck your shields. Fuck your shields. Got him. Um... There's still another? Oh, he's way down here. Well, that didn't hit. Let's go and use some meta gel. You good? No, there's another guy. Where you at? Come on out, bro. Unless you just want to get punched to death. Hey, bro. Ah, no. <laughs> I missed. I missed a punch. <laughs> Out of the way. Ugh. I was scared. All right, we're heading off. Why did it look like, sorry, something about the way that the formation in which they were standing, it looked like I was like holding up Caden like Except he got the charges. hurt. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Uh-oh, that's probably not good. <sighs> All right, we're taking off. Oh god, there's a detonation. Charges. The Geth must have planted them. Where's Hurry. where's the first we need one? To find them all and shut them down. Oh, there you are. Get away from me! Don't hit me, whoever's shooting at me. Okay, I got one. Okay, up there and around. I'm going as quick as I can. Okay, you will. Is that a? dead I think all right another one down here I'm scared about time I wish I could move the camera when I'm doing this so I could see what's happening around me but I cannot where are you holy shit ah did it ah Frickin' Geth. Why? It's rocket launchers that always fuck me up in games. Nobody shoot at me, please. Got another one disarmed. Hey, one of you, go out there. Let's go. Where are you? Come on. Come on out, bro. Come on out. It's a sniper, too. Yeah, you're scared of some close combat, huh? He's over here. All right, well, we got time, so... I'm gonna do it. Can I not do it on this side? Uh, sure. I guess I'm disarming it. <laughs> That's funny. 
Did it. Yay. Alright, what's in the crate? More weapons. I'll worry about my weapons in a minute. And let's just go do some stuff down here first. Oh, Jesus. Come on, get into cover. Didn't there used to be a button you had to press to get into cover? Did they change that, or am I dumb? Get away from me! Why do you take so many shots? I don't know why you just ran out there all by yourself. I mean, I'm fine. <laughs> I don't think there are any enemies around to shoot me. Seeing if there's stuff over here. Any stuff? Is there any stuff? Doesn't look like there's any stuff. Ooh, kit. Should I go ahead and just use it? Yeah. Let's see any stuff on the other side. Fatigued. Is that... Ooh, a storage locker. What's in you? Come on. Ah, those are so... It's, it's just... I don't know what the right word is. Uh, not frustrating, like, in, whoops, anxiety inducing. You're just like, ah, da, 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 I don't have time. All right, storage locker. Another one. Ha! Ah, I almost got hit by that one. I didn't even see that one at the end, but apparently I got it, and I'm good. Okay, let's see what's up here, and then I think we're good to go to the, the beacon. It's like, sorry, I'm wasting time not going to the beacon. I have stuff around here I want. <laughs> sorry, Alliance Military. There was just some awesome armor over there. I had to get it. I know that our mission was the beacon, but I had, I had more pressing matters. Will never be the same again. Shut up, Caden. No one to ask you. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't mm. doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Ashley, what are you doing? Ashley? D Ashley! Come on, girl. Knock her out of the way, and then... Oh, no! Ah, uh, da, 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 da. The shepherd! No, don't touch me! Ugh. 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 Sorry if you have epilepsy. Jesus Christ. Remember there was, like, an episode of Pokemon that gave a bunch of kids epilepsy? And that, that's so funny to me, because everyone blames the episode was about Porygon, but it wasn't Porygon that caused the epilepsy, but because of that episode, Porygon just, like, doesn't show up in anything anymore. They're just like, yeah, pretend he doesn't exist, even though it was, like, Pikachu that caused the electrical problem, like, we that made the flashing the lights and gave kids, like, epileptic, se epileptic the seizures. A human the Matriarch. Vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Uh oh, Saren is upset. I like the change in lighting. He's angry, so it's just like, ah, oh, yes, strobe light now. I'm not, look, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna make a small gesture. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? That's what that felt like. That's what that felt like to me, watching that scene as an adult. I'm like, that, that was. You, you get you know what I mean? I think you know what I mean. Doctor, Doctor Chakwas, I think he's waking up. Uh, 
<laughs> With the hair, I love how it just glitches through the hair. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? I'm all right. Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must you have think? triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we hmm. don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Those awkward silence of like, fine. yeah, but you I can bang this girl. Unusual <laughs> brain activity. Uh, I love Bioware I RPGs. There's some good romances and some not great ones, but. Science typically associated with intense dreaming. Oh, my back is killing me. I was dreaming not a dream of vision. Not a dream of I vision. Saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death. God, I do not like those eyes. Really clear. <laughs> hmm. Everything else I'm Thank fine with, but I didn't like any of the other eye right? options either, so. Oh. Captain Anderson. It's weird, because like far away it looks oh, fine, no, but every time they zoom up, it just like they're so small. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Hmm. Good. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth okay. haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. I mean, you yeah, but it's also, like I said, yeah, death. no one... There, it, that was an insane attack. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. Sounds like he's a gone rogue. rogue. <laughs> Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Hates humans? Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? A vision. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? A warning. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the council, Shepard. <laughs> yeah, what are we going to say? I had a dream? Yeah, I had a, bad dream? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We expose him to can Understood, we sir. Prove Saren's gone rogue, and the council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. 
Sweet. All right, where, where, where am I on the ship? I already forget. What's over here? I feel like they changed the run slightly. Before I talk to you, hold up. What's over here? It's been a while since I played this game. Okay. This is just more of the medical area. Is there any stuff in here? No. <coughs> I swear they changed the running a little bit. Like you didn't actually go on a full run like that. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins you didn't know Jenkins. Part of, crew. part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot for me. I've never met anyone who was awarded the Star of Terra. Hmm. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. So yeah, if it isn't obvious, I feel like I've told you already, but it actually is a romance option throughout this game. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, be flirty with her. We'll see how things go, how I want to go with my romance, but she is a controversial character in the Mass Effect Couldn't franchise. Have done it you, <laughs> Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. Glad to I have think you. You're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I like Ashley enough. She is questionable at times, and you'll see what I mean later, but I like her enough as a character in the game and, like, the dynamics that she adds. Don't speak to Joker when you're ready. Tell him to bring the Norman into dock. All right. Caden, what do you got? Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Nothing, as usual, you boring piece of shit. <laughs> Sorry, I do not, I do not like Caden. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. Can I, I romance Dr. Chakwas? She's a MILF. Adventure. I wanted to travel the stars. Can't change my mind. The wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. <laughs> but humanity needs the Alliance. If we want but I like Chakwas. She's, traverse, she's a good, good, a good person to have on your team. So I stayed on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth, or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. Fair. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. Hmm. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. I should go. Okay. So Caden's got a little bit of a, you know, struggle with biotic uh, implants type thing. Let's see. Can I talk? I know you can go around the ship. I didn't. Basically, you're going to get other people to join your group, obviously, because this is an RPG. And you, so you go to the other parts of the ship to go talk to them. It's interesting because... Okay. I didn't know hey, you could actually do it at this point. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? <laughs> my stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. What are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufacturers sell licenses. 
Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand So here's a little tip. When you go and find stores at places where you maybe want to buy guns and shit, just buy the licenses and then you can buy them from him later so you don't have to go back to the place all the time. What do the different manufacturers offer? There are too many for me to keep track of, but each license will explain what it's good for. How often will you get new items? Well, that depends on how many licenses you've purchased. But I'll rotate items on a regular basis regardless. And any time we land someplace with a big enough port, I'll buy, sell, and trade whatever I can. Hmm. Check back often. I need to move items quickly, so only the most basic items will be stocked consistently. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Alright, yeah, let's see. It's all pretty expensive right now, and we can't afford it. But let's go ahead and buy, like, a meta gel upgrade. What else did I buy? I already forgot. There's a meta gel upgrade in something. And everything else is too expensive, out of our price range. And you can change people's equipment while you're down here. So that way you don't have to, you know, worry about it when you go on a mission. I'm just running around seeing what else I have to talk to. Engineer Adams, what's up, bro? Okay, just s sad about Jenkins. Nothing, okay. Uh, okay, that's just telling I was wondering what the mark on my map was. It's just telling me to go uh, where the equipment stuff is. And also, I'm putting my face cam kind of where the map is. I feel like that's fine. I know... I just, since I have a green screen, to me, it looks weird to put it in the top corner at times. I don't know. It, it just feels better to put it in a bottom corner, and I think there's more stuff in the bottom left when we're playing in-game, if I remember right, because that's where all your ammo and stuff is. It's not a huge deal. It's just something I thought of. Okay. Um, let's look at the codex real quick. Ooh, we got a lot more. Okay. The Geth are a humanoid race of networked AIs. They were created by the Quarians 300 years ago as tools of labor and war. When the Geth showed signs of self-evolution, the Quarians attempted to exterminate them. The Geth won the resulting war. This example has led to legal, systematic repression of artificial intelligences in galactic society. Ooh. The Geth possess a unique distributed intelligence. An individual has rudimentary animal instincts, but as their numbers and proximity increase, the apparent intelligence of each individual improves. In groups, they can reason, analyze situations, and use tactics, as well as any organic race. Yeah, that's Geth's scary. Geth's is located at the trailing end of the Perseus arm, beyond the lawless Terminus systems. The Perseus Veil, vale, an obscuring dark nebula of opaque gas and dust, lies between their space and the Terminus systems. Yeah, that's all scary sounding. After the Geth secure a location, they round up and impale dead and living bodies on mechanical spikes. The spikes rapidly transform these victims into withered husks, extracting water and trace minerals, and replacing them with cybernetics. The cybernetics reanimate the lifeless flesh and tissue, transforming the bodies into mindless killing machines. Hmm. Some Alliance soldiers refer to the husk-generating spikes as dragon's teeth, a reference to the mythological berserkers who sprang up from the earth wherever the teeth of the dragon Eris were planted. Dragon's teeth and husks bear little Eris? resemblance to Ares? other pieces of Geth technology. No one is sure why a synthetic race would bother to drain the minuscule amount of recoverable resources from organic corpses, Though the value of reusing them as shock troops is obvious. Yeah, because it freaks people out. The Citadel is an ancient deep space station, presumably constructed by the Protheans. Since the Prothean extinction, numerous species have come to call the Citadel home. It serves as the political, cultural, and financial capital of the galactic community. To represent their interests, most species maintain embassies on the Presidium, the Citadel's inner ring. The Citadel Tower in the center of the Presidium holds the Citadel Council Chambers. Council affairs often have far-reaching effects on the rest of the galactic community. 
Five arms, known as the wards, extend from the Presidium. Their inner surfaces have been built into cities, populated by millions of inhabitants so it's a gigantic from across spaceship. the galaxy. The Citadel is virtually indestructible. If attacked, the station can close its arms to form a solid, impregnable shell. For as long as the station has existed, an enigmatic race called the Keepers has maintained it. Biotics is the ability of rare individuals to manipulate dark energy and create mass effect fields through the use of electrical impulses from the brain. Intense training and surgically implanted amplifiers are necessary for a biotic to produce mass effect fields powerful enough for practical use. The relative strength of biotic abilities varies greatly among species and with each individual. There are three branches of biotics. Telekinesis uses mass lowering fields to levitate or impel objects. Mass raising so kinetic fields are used to block or pin objects. Spatial distortion uses rapidly shifting mass fields to shred objects. Most organic species are capable of developing biotic abilities, though there are risks involved. Biotics are the result of an in utero exposure to element zero. Oh shit. This usually causes fatal cancers in the victim, but in rare cases, it coalesces into nodules within the fetus's developing nervous system. Shit. Element zero can increase or decrease the mass of a volume of space-time when subjected to an electrical current. With a positive current, mass is increased. With a negative current, mass is decreased. The stronger the current, the greater the magnitude of the dark energy mass effect. In space, low mass fields allow FTL travel and inexpensive surface to orbit transit. High mass fields create artificial gravity and push space debris away from vessels. In manufacturing, low mass fields permit the creation of evenly blended alloys, while high mass compaction creates dense, sturdy construction materials. The military makes extensive use of mobility enhancing technologies. With mass effect utilizing fighting vehicles standard frontline issue in most military forces. Mass effect fields are also essential in the creation of kinetic barriers or shields to protect against enemy fire. Okay. Omni tools are handheld devices that combine a computer it's like the things from uh what are they called? Pack Pit Boy or something like that from Fallout. I forget what they're called. Versatile Pit, and reliable. Pit, something. Pit, an Omni tool can be used that what to called? analyze and adjust the functionality of most standard equipment, including weapons and armor, from a distance. The fabrication module can rapidly assemble small three-dimensional objects from common reusable industrial plastics, ceramics, and light alloys. This allows for field repairs and modifications to most standard items, as well as the reuse of salvaged equipment. Omni tools are standard issue for soldiers and first in colonists. All right. Okay, now let's go talk to Joker. This is where Joker is, right? No, opposite opposite side of the ship. <laughs> My brain, man, it's been right. No, wait, what? Hold on. Wait, what? Oh, he's upstairs. Duh. Okay, I know where I'm going now. It's been too long, man. Anyone else, Presley? I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. Nav, man, what? Okay, more to the codex. Uh, well, let's check to see if it's a. Okay, no. I don't really care about the secondary ones. Combat hard suits use a dual layer system to protect the wearer. The inner layer consists of fabric armor with kinetic padding. Areas that don't need to be flexible, such as the chest or shins, are reinforced with sheets of lightweight ablative ceramic. The outer layer consists of automatically generated kinetic barriers. Objects traveling above a certain speed will trigger the barrier's reflex system and be deflected, provided there is enough energy left in the shield's power cell. Armored hard suits are sealable to protect the wearer from extremes of temperature and atmosphere. Standard equipment includes an onboard mini frame and a communications, navigation, and sensing suite. The mini frame is designed to accept and display data from a weapon's smart targeting system to make it easier to locate and eliminate enemies. So cool, man. 
I've never actually really read through a lot of the codexes because I just didn't really... It's so amazing how much effort they put into thinking of, like, how everything even works in this universe, you know? Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Uh, dude, the graphics of this game are still so good. Like, I don't know if they really... How much they did to update these scenes. But, like, lighting just looks amazing. God, I love this franchise. Look at that! That's so cool! How is that not, like... Man. I love it. I love it. The Ascension. Flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. SSV Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. Got a little force field there. Could you imagine? I mean, I know. God, could you imagine living in, like, society like this? This is insane. The little cut of the music out. I know it went to a loading screen, but still. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? Somebody's upset. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Ambassador, Ambassador Captain Udina. Got it. Ambassador you Udina. Crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime. In case you they're both like, this guy's an ass. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate. They are. He looks a little different. Sounds like you convinced the council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. He's dangerous. Sarah's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the specters. Well, come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. <laughs> that's funny. All right, so we've got through Eden Prime, and now we're on the Citadel. This feels like the perfect place to call this video. Uh, so a lot of interesting stuff, and it's been a long time since I played Mass Effect 1 in particular, so I'm very happy I'm playing it again, and I can't wait to play the rest of this franchise. I'm going to play all of them. <laughs> all right, so if you enjoyed this video and you want to like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff down below, that helps me out a lot. I'm a smaller YouTuber. Every subscriber really helps. Seriously, it just, it means a lot. And um, yeah, no, you can't wait to play more of this game. <laughs> Peace out.